Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So we're going to take a look at your singles love reading for the time you're listening to this, 29th, 30th into February. So if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Please smash that like and subscribe. And yeah, personal reading links, social media links. You can follow me on Facebook. Everything is below. All right, let's get into this reading, Virgo. What are the messages for Virgo going forward? Okay, wow. You've got temperance. So Sagittarius energy here. Okay, peace, balance, and harmony. Um, this to me is always divine timing. Spirit is mixing up the elixir for you and another person to connect. Okay, so at this time, there's something brewing behind the scenes, Virgo, and it looks like you just need to have patience, faith, um, don't scramble, don't rush, just keep trusting, trusting the process as far as being single and if you are looking for love or looking to meet someone special, take your time, okay? It's, it's, it, it's happening. It's, you may not see it, you may not know it, you may get a sense, you might be feeling like, oh, it's coming. Yeah, so just take your time and let it evolve, okay? Um, patience, Virgo. And you have patience, Virgo. I know you do. All right. See, there you go. King of Cups. I'm sorry. Knight of Cups. Okay. So Virgo, listen, um, there's definitely a love offer coming towards you between February 19th and March 20th. Okay. And this is a brand new opportunity, a brand new start. Okay. So uh, someone's coming in to make an investment here in your life. Love is coming. I mean, okay, the reading's over. It's done. Yeah, <laughs> Virgo, fantastic. Um, let me see here now. Who could this be? So, okay, for some of you, I will say that it could be a Pisces. Okay, just feeling that could be a Sagittarius. Let me see what else. Let me see what else is coming for you. Okay. Wow. So you've got judgment. Fantastic. I mean, seriously, um, this is fire. This is Mars rules. So it could be Aries. It could also be um, a Scorpio. So there's definitely an energy here of like clarity. Like finally you have arrived. Uh, Virgo. Yeah. I just feel like there's definitely a love offer or someone's going to ask you out or, um, you know, talk to you about, you know, and this is for those of you who are completely single. You've got nobody else. There isn't anybody else in the periphery or right now. Um, I feel like this is a gift that's being brought to you um, from the universe, something that you've been praying to connect with someone. And yeah, that judgment card gives me a sense of like, it's just like final, like finally, the person for you is coming in. Okay, or and or, and, or you're coming into their life. Um, let's see, how are you gonna meet this person? How is Virgo gonna meet this person? Wow. Okay, I just have to give you guys a little secret. Before I did this reading, I did a reading before, like I did a reading already before this, but I don't know what it is with me, but I keep hitting that time lamp, time lapse button. And of course, when you record in time lapse, it doesn't audio record. So I had to um, scrap it and redo it. And the cards are different, but there is a similarity. However, this card, when I asked in the other reading, how, like, where are you going to meet this person? The nine of wands came up. And so the, it's the same message. And I'm going to tell you what it is. Somewhere, this was the message, somewhere near a fence or a perimeter or um, a border. Okay. That's all they gave me. Somewhere near a fence, a perimeter or a border. Okay. Examples of that could be, you know, somebody that is like your backyard neighbor or something where there's a fence or somewhere on the border somewhere of a state or a country um, or across the border. Um, I know it's vague. Okay, I know it's vague. But it it's just along the lines of like, it could be the perimeter of like a park. You could be walking to your car and your car is parked way out near the perimeter of the parking lot. It's just... 
it's it definitely feels like an outside thing but it could be inside it's just somewhere yeah just like i said i know it's vague <laughs> but it's it's going to be at night okay and it's going to be somewhere where there's like maybe even railings or um something along the lines of like a fenced in area okay uh you could be out i don't know you could be on a field or maybe you're walking through a park something along those li those lines if you're walking through a park at night make sure you bring your torch or your lamp or some type of lighted apparatus to keep you safe okay so you've got the moon here all right so yeah definitely a uh, nighttime kind of thing where you're going to connect with this person now let me see what's the characteristics of this person coming in because we don't really i mean i gave you some signs but let's see all right okay <laughs> i can't with this guys you know what i don't like i don't get it i don't i don't this air sign keeps showing up not even the queen of swords shows up it's the king of swords um you know it could be feminine more with a masculine energy or it's um just a masculine person maybe they have some feminine everybody's got feminine masculine energy but i mean with this king of swords seriously this is gemini aquarius libra okay so virgo i just cannot i know some of you are like out of relationships with gemini's or air signs and you're you're swearing yeah okay for a lot of you it's aquarius the fool in reverse showed up in the last reading too so i feel like this person is um showing up here as someone who is um they're they're a cautious risk taker okay so th they take risks but this person tends to be they can tend to be a bit careless at times um i feel like this is kind of a surprise though connecting with this person like you guys are gonna connect if the six of cups shows up i'm not even like we're done but i feel like you guys are gonna connect and it's gonna be kind of a surprise so it's more like the fool is kind of like a clumsy energy so you guys might kind of like bump into each other or there's some type of clumsy activity now when i say air sign it could be their sun moon rising or venus um, but this person shows up like um, very intentional. You'll know like air signs are very easy to spot in people when you speak with them because like if they're on Aquarius, they might be a tad bit like unique and sometimes flaky. If they're Gemini, they might be very funny or, or they're very witty behavior. If they're Libra, um, Librans can be pretty direct, but they also laugh a lot. They can. These are some of the characteristics of this person. But I feel like it's going to be kind of like you guys, I don't know, maybe you, you're backing out of the parking lot and you fender each other, the bumper hits or something along those lines. So it's kind of like you bump into each other like a surprise, like by accident. Um, I, I just had an image in my head two of, of two people playing like um like baseball and someone's a catcher and another person's like running from third base to home and they slide in and knock the catcher over and i don't know where that's coming from but kind of bumping into each other like that oh look look the chariots here okay so yeah there's uh, okay they're just saying yeah some of you are just gonna like bump into this person I don't know in your car or kind of like maybe it's in the parking lot or just tap somebody's bumper and it's weird it's such a kismet it's like something you see in the movies is what i feel <laughs> virgo i can't with your readings i mean it's just this is cute like this is so cute oh my gosh nine of cups this is like wish fulfillment which is coming true it's a wish card something that like i feel like this you and this person connecting it's kind of an energy of like you both are coming from the same place spirits guiding you aligning you to each other um maybe you're going to go and get your car aligned or something and i don't know there's something to do with a car and i feel like this is like wish this is like oh my gosh i can't even believe it like it's not like you're going to be you know like a shark biting into a piece of meat and your eyes roll back th through your head it's more along the lines of like you may not even realize that you met the person that ticks your boxes and vice versa okay so here you go again the seven of wands um 
Okay, and we had that last time. So the description and what I feel like with this person is they, they might play some kind of sport or do something like a defensive sport or they, they do something with like physical action of def self-defense, okay? Um, let me see what else can I tell you. Okay, it could be a father or a parent, right? There's the Aries card, the emperor, maybe a military or police or... Um, something where they wear armor or some kind of um, self-defense is what I feel. Something to do, maybe fire, rescue, or, you know, something along those lines. I can't even, like, I'm trying to get all these informational messages they're giving me. Whatever you might be able to think of, like, maybe it's, like, martial arts or something. Okay, so I will tell you that this person, there is a little bit of distance between the two of you, but that's okay. There's the Queen of Swords. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a match here, okay? There's definitely a match. King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, both of them <coughs> very talkative, very witty, friendly, honest, straightforward, intentional, um, very strategic. Um, both of you single, Queen of Swords, male or female, King of Swords are both either widowed or unmarried or single, yep. Uh, coming out of a ten of swords kind of a situation something ended and it's like after the ten of swords there is an energy of um, having a new start recovery um, to people like forgiving and moving forward uh, personally or moving on okay so Virgo I love this reading so much all right yeah you're definitely going to come to a decision that's going to have to be made all right um there you go very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so i feel like right now virgo you're being asked to um minimize your checklist of what you're looking for in a lover so if you've got like 20 30 things that are like deal breakers you might want to like shorten that to maybe six or five okay and just narrow it down right because if you have like that many boxes ticked um then you're looking for a perfect person rather than someone who's perfect for you so i feel like the message here is you need to get into this energy of like okay what's really going to be important for you as far as like what characteristics or behaviors or, or certain things what really means the most to you okay so you've got true love situation here this is the romance of a lifetime which is amazing and worth waiting for there's that divine timing energy here like with the temperance card so no rush on this here divine timing is at work in your love life and that's what i said spirit is this is a gift spirit is bringing you someone who as I said, not someone who's perfect, but someone who is perfect for you. And if you're already in a great relationship right now, this is not for you. And I don't need you to tell me that. This is for those of you who are like completely single as a Pringle, as I said, you're, you've been keeping it moving. You know, you're not trying to, I'm trying to keep things PG because I keep getting like restricted and blocked on my channel I guess they're like really ramping it up I have to like change I can't even use my other cards anymore because any of the cards that show any kind of like nudity in it I can't have them anywhere now so you know we're, we're going PG you guys so you're just gonna have to stick with me it's fine I, I, I don't mind that so this just feels like an energy of new love a new beginning now for some of you small percentage you percentage of you this could be a reconciliation situation with um someone that you've had a connection with before after there's been a period of healing um if that's something you want you know i, I certainly am not going to tell you what to do but that's totally up to you but i do feel like this is a worth waiting for situation love match true love and it's going to come very soon all right virgo so short and sweet just like just like you Virgo <laughs> and Valentine's Day so again if you want to get a personal reading with me there's a link in the description box below do go over to my booking site and check out I will have a February discounted love reading special up for the month of February and uh yeah please smash that like share and subscribe follow me on social media the address is up above here and there are links below in the description box all right you guys have a great evening, a great day, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye.